Nine Major Reasons to Wait for a Year-End Car Deal. Hello everyone and a warm welcome to all car buyers to the Homer Guy channel. If you're watching this video, you're likely on the exciting journey of buying a new or new to you car. Whether you're a first time buyer or a seasoned professional, making the right car purchase is a big decision and we're here to help you every step of the way. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, known as the Homework Guy for the last 14 years here on YouTube. Wow, what a journey it's been. I'm joined by the amazing Elizabeth, and I get the honor of sharing her wisdom with all of you today. So welcome to the show, Liz. Thank you, Kevin. I'm glad to be here to discuss this important car buying topic. In this video, friends, we're going to dive deep into the art of buying a car and discuss nine major reasons you should consider waiting for year's end to buy your car. It's not that far away, so just hang in there a little bit. For the first time in three years, it should be totally worth it. Today, we'll share nine valuable considerations for a year-end deal, insider secrets, and essential information to ensure that your car buying experience is not only smooth, but also enjoyable. From researching the right car for your needs and budget to negotiating the best deal and understanding the fine print, the Homework Guy channel has you covered. Our goal is to empower you with the knowledge and confidence to make a well-informed decision when it comes to your next ride. So whether you're looking for a stylish sedan, a versatile SUV, a rugged truck, or anything in between, join us on this journey as we navigate the world of car buying. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss one of our episodes packed with valuable insights. Let's rev up your car buying experience and find the perfect ride for you. Buckle up and let's get this party started. Year-end deals on cars are often some of the best deals for the following nine major reasons. Number one, clearance of current year inventory. Car dealerships typically receive new models in the fall, which means they need to clear out their existing inventory of previous year's models. For this reason, as the year end approaches, dealerships are motivated to sell the current year's models to make room on the lot for the new ones. This motivation often leads to lower overall prices due to attractive manufacturer incentives and often big dealer discounts. Dealers are fully aware that many consumers tend to prefer buying the newest models with the latest features and technology, so, as the calendar year progresses, interest in the current year models can decline, leading to slower sales. Number two, manufacturer incentives. Car manufacturers often provide incentives to dealerships to help them sell their remaining inventory. The big push when it comes to incentives is always reserved for year's end. For the first time in the last three years, this year's end should be a lot closer to normal, like the deals we typically saw at year's end prior to the pandemic. These incentives can include rebates, low interest financing, or special lease offers. Dealerships, in turn, pass these incentives on to customers, making year-end deals more appealing. Major reason number three, pressure to meet year-end sales targets. Yep. Car dealerships often have monthly and yearly sales targets to meet. As the end of the year approaches, there may be added pressure to meet these targets, which can result in more aggressive pricing and a willingness to negotiate. Reason number four, promotional events. Many dealerships and automakers run special promotional events during the year-end period, such as year-end clearance sales or holiday sales events. These events can include additional perks or discounts for buyers. And number five, tax considerations. Oh yeah. Some buyers may be motivated to purchase a car before the end of the year for tax reasons. Business owners or individuals looking to take advantage of tax deductions related to vehicle purchases may find it beneficial to buy a car before the year's end. Number six, reduced depreciation. Buying a current year model at the end of the year can help reduce the initial depreciation that occurs when a new car is driven off the lot. This can lead to better long-term value for your vehicle. And number seven of the reasons to wait for year's end is competitive market. Dealerships are often in competition with each other to sell the remaining inventory, which can result in better deals and more room for negotiation. Negotiation, that necessary but sometimes intimidating part of car buying. Number eight is availability of information. One of the major reasons beyond a very high price to avoid buying a new car at the beginning of the year is that you know nothing about it. Will it be reliable? Will it have problems? You don't know any of that at the beginning of the year. There's nothing and certainly no vehicle history to go by. However, by the end of the year, there's usually ample amounts of information available about the reliability, safety, and performance of the current year's models. Buyers can make more informed decisions based on consumer and expert reviews and data. It may surprise you to know that a year-end deal can actually help you avoid buying a lemon. And last of all is reason number nine to wait for a year-end deal, salesman competition. End of the year isn't just the end of the year for the dealership, but it's also when car salespeople are competing to meet their 
yearly, quarterly, and monthly quotas. This time of year, you're likely to get a salesman who will go to bat for you and actually give you good customer service. Believe it or not, if the salesman doesn't push real hard on his or her management, the dealership isn't as likely to give you the deal you're looking for. However, while it's important to note that year-end deals can be advantageous, they may not be always the best option for every buyer. Consider your individual needs, preferences, and budget when deciding what car to buy. Additionally, the availability of specific models and the success of year-end deals can vary a lot depending on the make and model of the vehicle and regional factors, so it's a good idea to research and compare deals before making your purchase. If you have very specific wants and needs, consider starting now, early in the fourth quarter, because that's what it might take to get the specific vehicle you're looking for. But as always, even if you pull the trigger before year's end, you can still aim for a month-end car deal. Because there's so much information to retain, we recommend going back and getting a refresher on important topics like dealer fees. Even if you saw it before, go back and get current on fees by watching this video, 11 Fake Fees, 4 Million Views and Counting, just as relevant today as the day it was published. It's a treasure trove of dealer fee costs and information. By the way, as the year-end approaches, start your homework in advance so you have a few different vehicles in your line of sight. Remember that any one of them could be sold out from under you at any time and suddenly all your homework and negotiating on a particular vehicle is out the window. Also, always be aware of when the final closing date is for your car deal and if you agree it's smart to start your homework now, go back and watch this video titled Top 10 Car Buying Mistakes to Avoid at Car Dealerships and then take your research seriously. There are six different research sites we recommended you consider in that video so I won't take the time to repeat them here. Just do not make these common mistakes, especially not mistake number four and number five. Also, to find out what the discounts have been averaging on vehicles you're looking for, visit realcartips.com. The founder of the site, Greg Fidan, has been at it since 2008 and was a successful car broker at one time. He's got great information, so check him out. I've always enjoyed Greg's perspective. The point you made, Kevin, about the closing date of your car deal is very valid. People commonly believe a year-end deal has to be done by December 31st, but this year the 31st falls on a Sunday, so in most states, nobody will be around to help you. I'd be looking at Saturday, December 30th as being the final sales day to close out your year-end car deal. Mark that in your calendar, friends, and be ahead of the game long before that time comes. And a quick reminder to anyone seeking direct help with me and Kevin in your fourth quarter car deal, there are two membership packages that offer this. There are the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99 that gives direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which will be a special email dedicated to members only. The next package is Homework Guy Consults, $49.99. This package gives you regular text message contact with both me and Kevin, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. This is in addition to the email contact in the previous package. Any membership level can be canceled at any time, so there's no risk for you. Just do us a favor if you sign up or are already signed up on one of our direct help packages. Send us a text to 701-441-3399 and alert us that you're a new member. Staff will immediately forward your contact information to Kevin, and he will get in contact with you from his personal cell phone. Also, as an extra incentive, for the first 50 members to sign up, all membership levels, will get a copy of our Car Buyer's Guide when it comes out. That's right. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguide.com, so make sure you take time to give us a visit. You can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook, so go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you just recently joined the Homework Guide channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.